welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be hitting a nice back workout. It's going to be focused on building that V taper. I got my pre-workout in my hand and today's topic is going to be I read a hundred self-help books and here's what I learned. For starting all of this, I had a good year, year and a half phase where I literally just spam read so many self-help books, business books, mindset books, and I probably got like 100, 150 in in that time frame. And I'm gonna break it down into five main things that I learned from them. Starting with number one, self-awareness. Number two, a positive mindset. Number three, actually doing something about it. Number four, consistency and number five having faith and all of it working out so uh let's go into that as we start our workout for now i'm going to drink this and then uh let's get into it Ugh. Since we're doing a uh, V taper focused back, back workout, I'm gonna start off with the pull ups here. I don't usually do those in my workouts, but for the sake of the video today, we'll warm up with some uh, nice pull ups, maybe underhand, overhand, we'll mix it up and then uh, get into our first real exercise, which I think is gonna be lat pull downs. We'll do one more set over here, three sets in total, just to feel that back getting warmed up. And uh, we'll get into our topic straight here. So the point number one is self-awareness. So what that exactly means is that you kind of have to spend some time getting to know yourself. I know how unfortunate, but it's the only way that you're gonna figure out who you wanna be in life. So uh, whether that is just sitting by yourself, doing the pros and cons list, the things you're good at, what things you're bad at, what things excite you, journaling to better understand yourself, reading books, figuring out what you enjoy doing, testing out new things, you're better at this, you're worse at that. All of this kind of stuff is very important to kind of develop your self-awareness. I don't think it's something that you're just like born with. Maybe some people are a bit more aware than others in the beginning, but you do have to do something about it and practice it to figure out like, who am I exactly? And I would say that's point number one, that reading all of these hundred plus books that, that talk about self-help and self-improvement, and self-awareness, it's understanding yourself. We're on to our second exercise. Oh, this lighting is actually good. I don't usually get my workouts in the daytime as much, so it's always dark outside, but this is looking good. So I got the, uh, ergonomic wide bar pull down extension here and i'm not gonna push like a crazy amount of weight there it's kind of like a medium range where i can really just get the squeezes the goal is to build the a wider back which i don't necessarily think needs to be heavy weights all the time as much as that rose for thickness in my opinion at least so i'm just gonna get a wider grip get a full range of motion and just push blood there So the point number two of the topic here is a positive mindset. This is something that I know a lot of you struggle with, with the victim mentality, especially when things are low and not going as good for you. And just going back to lack of self-awareness, so you're not really sure what you're good at, bad at, all the things that are good around you. So you just go in like a more negative mindset naturally, which obviously is not gonna serve you any good. So. Uh, Reading all these books is something that was repeated every single time to do well in life, to find the girl of your dreams or your guy of your dreams, 
to have a sick career, to have gains, like it all has to come from your mindset first. So if you can't even correct what's up here, then what's the point of doing anything else for your body or for your money or for your, for your love, life, like whatever. So making sure that we do have a positive mindset going into the things that we wanna do is one of the top things that I learned from reading all these self-help books. <laughs> Oh. This brings us to the next exercise, which we have the cable wide extension rows here. So uh, I'll get at least three solid sets here as well. We'll start off with the first set and then we'll get into point three, which is do something about it. We're here, gonna be hitting our second solid set now. Going into our point number three here, which is doing something about it. Again, this only comes with if you have self-awareness and you come from a positive mindset, you've committed to doing something. That's where you figure out, okay, I want to be a soccer player. I want to be a businessman. I want to be an entrepreneur, whatever. You have to take some sort of action every day to do something about it. So either you create a strategy, you create a blueprint, you create a list of things that you can start off with and you do those every day. So reading those books, it made me understand like even at the moment, like maybe I don't get it fully. So something that I can do about it is continue to learn about it. So I understand the subject of matter better. But at some point you have like zombie entrepreneurial symptom where you just keep reading and reading and reading, but you're not actually doing something about it. So at some point you do have to check out of that and start like doing some sort of action. So if it's you starting your own business, setting up your website, setting up a product page, designing a couple clothes, setting up your socials, running an ad, doing demos, some sort of thing needs to be done every single day where you're not just like talking about it or learning about it, but you're moving in the direction physically to do something about it. Okay, next exercise is here. Got the single arm pull here. So we're just gonna stand across or stand straight. Not stand, we're just gonna sit straight and then do our uh, lower lats here. As 
we do our second set here, which I actually really like this, this exercise, so I should definitely do it more in my future vlogs. But point four here is consistency, which leads on to do something about it. I'm sure you have some motivation going on and today you're gonna watch this video and work for the next couple of days or you might see a hype sam sulik video and go get a nice workout but then what happens after two three four five days go by a week goes by two weeks go by you end up just chilling out you take one rest day you take two rest days you take five rest days from your work from your business from your fitness from the gym and then you're like whatever bro next thing you know you're a month off so consistency is what you lack here and that's because you're working out of motivation and not discipline and that's something that they really preached as well when i read over a hundred self-help books they consistently said you have to stay consistent with your grind <laughs> you out yeah. all right yeah from chipotle no like see you oh i don't know you never heard of guac before? No. Oh. Is it like a it's food place? Yeah. Where is that? Where? Yeah, let me search up. Like they live here. Because we have a guac in this though. Oh. It's like it's kind of like a chipotle or like a burrito, like a pizza burrito. Oh, okay. <sighs> Point number four, which is consistency. I would say you guys need to really understand if you're working out of discipline or motivation, because if it's motivation, it's not gonna last long. You do have to make sure that you do, you, you're passionate about this project and you have good habits where you can consistently put out work every single day. You're doing something about it every single day for five months, for a year, for two years, for three years, until you start seeing some results and then you don't stop. You just continue doing more and more and more of it because for it to work, for it to be successful, you do have to do something about it and then it will produce. You can't just sit at home with wishful thinking like, all right, great, this is what I want in life and I'm just gonna manifest it and somehow it happens. No, you do have to stay consistent with your daily grind and years down the road, something will happen. Okay, we're on our last back exercise to build a V taper. Back to the cable setups where instead of the wide grip lap pull down, I have the small grip ergonomic lap pull down. So we'll do three solid sets of just squeezing it in again and that'll hit my lower lats a bit more. Also my rear delts a bit more so we get that type of shape and then uh, that will bring us to our last point in this topic too which is belief in yourself and God this is a spiritual point where again as cliche as it might sound but it has a direct relationship with how you grow in business and it's what something these hundreds of self-help books have talked about that I read as well and it's one of the points that they all preach whether it's a certain religion or whether it's higher power or whether it's the universe it's some sort of energy that's higher than you that you can kind of pass your stressors onto and your belief onto that helps guide your path so we'll get more into that as we do our first set <sighs> set here and I'm gonna finish off point number five if you are a person that doesn't practice gratitude or doesn't have faith like that 
then it's something that I suggest you start reading into and how you can practice properly for yourself based on what your beliefs are. I'm not saying pick a religion or pick a certain way to practice this, but self-belief, but apart from self-belief, belief in a higher power is going to help you so much to get closer to your goal because I see in a couple ways. A, I see you as a parent that's up there, you can't see, you have problems, they're there to help you, you just ask for help, you pray, you, good things are happening in your life, you pray and you say thank you for helping me, you show gratitude, and then it's just good karma and good energy that comes around this way too. That's gonna help you, that's gonna, that's gonna make you do good things for other people, which is good karma passed on to them. They grab that energy passed on to another, person in a positive way and then it's just like a full circle comes around to you so not only are you just helping yourself on earth to be a better person and have more good things happen to you if you have belief in higher power because that's the energy that you're pushing out but also it's like a stress relief like i don't have the answers to everything and frankly i don't want the answers to everything i want to focus on today i don't have control of why i was born here and i don't have control over how i'm gonna die here but one thing's guaranteed and that's today god gave me this opportunity to be alive and work on my dreams and and do good things for others then that's really all i need to be grateful for i have good health i'm doing well i have good people around me i'm grateful for that and when things go wrong and i want more in life i just pray it's like please god help me become a better person guide my path help me do better in life ease my path and i just want to help others and offer me grant me a good long healthy life where i can accomplish big things and help your people so that's really it if you can complete these five steps there's no reason why you can't become a successful human being i came from nothing and i'm still nowhere but to many of you in the society when you look around you have a gym you create a seven figure brand and you have a team and nice car or whatever you start to think okay materialistic wise this guy is starting to do well so if that's what you want in life you want to do well materialistically you want to do well tangibly on social media it has to come with and you being a good person you having self-awareness you doing something about your dreams you staying consistent with your dreams and then finally actually believing in god that's allowing you to do all this in the first place and being grateful for it <coughs> Uh, that's about it. We finished our back workout for V taper. I think we're looking somewhere. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a pose check at the end. These are five main points that I learned from reading 100 self help books. I hope this brings you a little bit of clarity in what you want to do as well. And maybe it saves you time from reading 100 books. But if you don't know what you're doing and you need to get after it, maybe picking up a self help book is exactly what you need but I would suggest that don't get a zombie disease as an entrepreneur where you just keep reading and reading and reading and reading but you never really do anything about it. That's not gonna put you anywhere in life because the guy who's moving, that's the one who's gonna win and that's who you need to be. So to close this off, see you guys in a couple days. Peace. <laughs>